In this video we're 125 kilometers away from the impact spot of the LL Cross bombing in 2009 that was meant to look for ice on the moon surface. So we'll just zoom in and use a ruler to show where it is. This is actually on Google Moon itself. This area has increased in resolution because obviously NASA has allowed this area to show high resolution images. So basically, where the flag is, it's about 100 and um, flag spot about 125 kilometers on the ruler. As we zoom in, um, we see one area that's got very good resolution. So we're about 14 kilometers above the surface now. This opening of resolution has allowed us. Allowed us to see again all these structures on the on the hilly surface here near the South Pole. We've got areas of green, I assume of vegetation. We've got the rod towers, which hey, exist everywhere else in the other areas, such as the Tychos Crater and Amari uh, Moscoviense, which has a very thick lava flow sediment. Um, and you'll see excavations where the rods come out. So I'll use this example here. This rod sticking out is very bright white, similar to all the other ones. And except they're twice as large in this area, that's about 350 meters. So again, that's like 100 stories. These are very large structures. Um, all these other ones as well down this area. The common pattern of having towers around a crater entrance, these are very bright towers areas of excavation as well. These are very flat areas so they're um, courtyards around these towers. Some are darker green, light green. These towers here are all around the, the crater. This shows a lot of activity. All of a sudden where the, the resolution has been stopped, this area, there's a no way that you could discern these uh, buildings or alien uh, buildings there on the moon. Again I say alien, I don't think they're ours. This is a very clear area down here so that's why I actually picked this area. Um, you'll see the excavations where the rods come out. You'll see zigzag patterns. Um, these are the zigzag patterns of the towers coming up. These are dark green areas. This is a very good example of um, down in this area. Here we'll go. You'll see the rod towers there, then areas of excavation, square rectangle areas in between the buildings. And these are fairly large, these are about 100 stories. You'll see the rods coming out of that crater system there. Again, as we move a bit further, you see that area there has got a definite structures. Again, when the resolution is opened, I'm sure NASA have many, many clear shots of the moon surfaces. So this area here would show the same structures as well. The same pattern occurs on Mars. We, we can't go into high resolution in most areas. So whoever opened this area up has actually shown all the structures down very deep in the area, the greenery, which we assume is vegetation. Um, it's just uh, amazing how intense the uh, building activity is in all the canyons and things like that. Here we now zoom to something that shows more of a square pattern, bright towers. Again, the resolution here is not that good as we expect. Um, here we've got very good square openings. So a very large tower there. I assume that's nearly three or four hundred uh, meters. Uh, that's a hundred stories. So these are not small structures by any means. Uh, as we come into this area, we'll see a zigzag pattern as well. There are two larger towers and what looks like a um, zigzag pattern of walkways that that lead down into the crater. So. We'll so the mind uh, boggles when this uh, missile actually did hit in 2009, that's 460 metres. It was a big flash, it was a huge flash. It actually res um, it was more like a, a nuclear blast than a blast of a TNT. 
um, I hope this isn't the case because obviously if we have the same sort of structures in that crater system we would be destroying huge amounts of um, alien buildings and cities we've got a very large tower here so for some reason at a higher altitude we can actually work out the shape of these buildings are better um, the resolution is not that good as in Amari a Moscow Vienci here are the towers again around the crater edge it's very blurred here so I'm not quite happy with that image quality I'll just go back if we pick the closest structure that we can see at the impact site of the Acabius crater there so if that's the impact site there basically the closest structure would be this structure here and that would be about 16 kilometers so if we assume this huge impact that caused the whole screen to go a bright over a few hundred kilometers or a hundred kilometers at least was TNT I have a feeling it was more a nuclear detonation let's just have a look what's in this closer structure here again we see the the patterns of alien of buildings happening here as well courtyards so again we assume this was down there in the crater as well and we could have produced a, a lot of a damage with that impact here we'll just pick this this one up here this looks pretty close that's a ridge and whammo straight away we see um, at about four kilometers we see the zigzag patterns um, we see a few towers the resolution is not that good if we zoom into this area here which is close to the impact site the resolution is a better we'll see the square type of excavations the rods on the edges that's better this is a better view we'll see those rod formations we'll see uh, courtyard areas there's are towers there there's very large towers coming off we'll just do a quick measurement of these two coming out of the excavation they're about 370 meters so again we're looking at about 100 stories they're not small by any means um, this is full of buildings on this area here this area here is a very well defined area of towers coming and walls and buildings as well this very dark green coming up as well light green as well so we've got vegetation we've got very luminous structures coming out of the excavations um, here we go these are very good so we've got all these very deep crevices the towers are on the crevices we'll just do one a measurement of this one here for instance they're very bright white it's about 430 meters we're looking at about 110 stories these are very very massive structures and again where, where the resolution stops who knows what's on the other side so again we see all these um, buildings and again we have whole cities down here as well again we see the bright rod like structures coming from out of the crevices this could be populations of hundreds of thousands again living in these and I don't think after seeing this they are of human construction at all I'm not sure if there's anyone in them that's the hard thing to actually work out but obviously from all the a UFO activity recently the orbs around the world they could be coming from these moon uh, bases here we've got many towers zigzag patterns of walls the very good resolution is here this area here has a, a fair concentrate activity happening we'll see all the towers there 
zigzag patterns all around the crevices and craters. These are very large ones down the bottom here. And the towers go all the way around the crevices again. This one here shows fairly large ones. And zigzag pathways and courtyards. When we zoom into this one, we've got some very good structures here. We see the square excavations. We see the bright white cones or rod structures around the square excavations here for instance it's one large one coming out of that one there's a zigzag pattern of two three or four coming out of that one all zigzag structures from our buildings there as we zoom in into that crater there we'll see a lot more towers and our buildings coming out Again, by just increasing the resolution, we can tell how heavily populated that area is. Here we have a very bright white or luminous tower formation around that crater edge. We see one coming out of that excavation there, and then we see a lot of rod like patterns or towers all the way around. Um, we can just do a very quick estimate of the size there by just just by picking this one here. So we pick that one there, it's about 380 meters. There's quite a few coming out of these little pockets here as well, which look like square excavations. Very dark green and square. 